Bonjour. Today the tour is going through the Languedoc Roussillon region. It is a place that is well known for the beautiful weather, fabulous climate to grow some of the best fruits and vegetables. It is where in France you get the first cherries, the first table grapes, the first peaches, the first chestnuts. And also the fishing port where the tour is leaving from today is famous for the dishes of grilled sardines and grilled tuna, as well as sugared violets and many other things. Today, Sébastien, our chef pâtissier, is going to prepare for us a gâteau au marron, a chestnut cake. First, you need a sponge cake, a plain sponge, but you could also use a chocolate sponge. Cut the sponge into three equal layers and trim those layers with the help of a ring. Beat together 200 grams of chestnut puree with 350 grams of crème pâtissière. The crème pâtissière is made with egg yolk, sugar, flour and milk. Place the cake ring on a rack and put one of the sponge layer in the cake ring. Brush the layer with a rum and sugar syrup and then spread with the chestnut cream or half of it. Then place the second layer on top, brush with the rum and sugar syrup and then fill that with the remaining chestnut cream. Lastly, put the last layer of sponge on top, fit it well and place the cake in a freezer for half an hour or in a fridge for an hour or two just for it to set. Now once the cake has set, make an icing using cream, syrup and melted chocolate. Make sure it is very smooth. Then unmold the cake and spread the icing carefully on top and on the side of the cake. It is always nice to decorate the cake with some chocolate curls or some chestnuts or some gold leaves or, or whatever you can find, but it is also very lovely just to serve it with the icing. Now, Christian, the region grows lots of vines. Well, yes, Gabriel. In fact, the Languedoc-Roussillon accounts for one third of French total wine acreage, mostly producing a cheap, quaffable red wine for the, the, the working masses. But since now we drink less but better, that region had to face new dynamics, you know, which meant pulling out the old vines and replacing by new varietals. Now, this region sees more and more proactive winemakers producing much more smarter wine, you see, because this region has far less strict rules or strict appellation rules, giving room for more innovation. And this is why there is more Merlot, Shiraz, Grenache planted there, but it's still very much a traditional side that prevails, eh, using the traditional varietal of Carignan, saint Grenache, and even a bit of Shiraz now. Thank you, Christian. Tomorrow, Philippe Mouchel is going to prepare for us one of the greatest French classic dish, a cassoulet. Until then, au revoir.